Bird Yal. Back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day... And my friend. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind, but your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name.
message has come. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her that. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. I. I should speak with Hytham. Good day. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I'm grateful to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. It gives me joy to take these from you. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. Keep this up and the land will be free of these monsters. I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfton Ragnarsson, Conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halston Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. A 
I'll go at once. With caution, Eivor. Yervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Signs of battle. What see you, old friend? Hard fought on both sides. Well met, Eivor Ravendren. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills.
Are you wounded? If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! old friend. Once again. Halfdan Reknason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? A heroic display. He makes a powerful first impression. Just the way he likes it. Welcome to Jorvikshire, friend. Well met, Faravit. I was hoping your Jarl would be as welcoming. But I suppose I must earn his trust. Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. and start digging. We crush them in spring. No sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffered. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Haftar's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that. King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Haftan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. 
But I lit the charge. You gifted my silver to the Karls and Chaels of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Haftenjarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Gredjarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we won today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Show you a wonder. this, he and I, together. You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uba, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's deed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? 
friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler. It is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fat of it. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Must be fair of its camp ahead. Cold and dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself! Far of it! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. 
The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Ferevet. This whelp needs scalding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery. Plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets. And not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Abel? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton, killed for Hafton, bled for Hafton, and he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious. He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! <laughs> Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Donacastri. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Sneaky lot, masters of guile and ambush.
Thank Thor we made it. This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Filling my belly. Not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, <laughs> boil your head. We'll gang for the. Pig spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dins, run! Stop them before they reach Stenweyer! They spotted us! Run forward! Ah, faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! Glory for Ulf!
tell the chief. The chief must know. That's the last one. Picked raiders south of the wall. Don't like it. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. Picts don't raid often during winter. Their scouts are dead. The Picts won't know we're here. The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Show me what lies ahead. Why would the Picts make war in winter? They must have a reason. Something to gain. This area is off limits. Not a little heathen all. Now, Damn it all!
to join you. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat, if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earn it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. He won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravit. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Donacaster for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Half-done shares shrinks after each victory. 